This video demonstrates the proper procedure for replacing a mechanical seal in all of Corkin's Z-Series sliding vane positive displacement pumps. Corkin's seal installation toolkit is used throughout this video. Use of this kit is not mandatory, but it is recommended. When working in the field, this kit shortens the installation time and avoids damage to critical components. Please refer to the Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual, Item ID 105, and Important Instructions for Seal Replacement, Item Number IC 300, for detailed information on these pumps. The IOM Manual may be downloaded from Corkin's website at corkin.com. The important instructions for seal replacement are listed inside the IOM manual as well. Please note these important safety tips. Periodic inspection and maintenance of the pump is essential. Inspection, maintenance, and installation of the pump must be performed by trained personnel. All procedures must comply with the Corkin Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual, applicable local codes, and safety standards. The transfer of toxic, flammable or explosive substances is always at the user's risk. Equipment should only be operated by qualified personnel according to applicable codes and safety standards. Review the installation, operation and maintenance manual and important instructions for seal replacement before performing any maintenance procedures. Replacing the mechanical seal assembly in a Corkin Z-Series sliding vane pump requires some basic hand tools. A flat blade screwdriver, a wrench, size will vary depending on model of pump, a hammer, and a can of spray lubricant or light oil with plenty of clean shop towels. The boxed mechanical seal assembly includes important instructions for seal replacement, rotating seal with o-ring and seal retainer, a stationary seal seat with o-ring, a grease seal, and an o-ring for the pump head. The mechanical seal installation kit Part number 5040-X can be used with any sliding vane pump manufactured by Corkin. Items included are a pick set, which is ideal for removing O-rings, guide rods for the 521, 1021, 1521, and Z3500 pumps, Z2000 pump, Z3200 pump, and the Z4200 and Z4500 pumps a seal seat installation tool with shouldered o-ring holder. This is a two-sided plastic tool used for hand press only. The small side is used for all pumps except the Z4200 and Z4500. Both of these models use the large side. A grease seal installation tool. This is a two-sided metal tool used in conjunction with a hammer. The small side is used for all pumps except the Z4200 and Z4500. Again, both of these models use the large side. The rotating seal installation tool and shaft guard for the Z4200 and Z4500 pumps. And the rotating seal installation tool and shaft guard for all other pump models. Before performing any maintenance procedures, make sure the pump and system have been depressurized. The seal replacement is a simple procedure, so it is not necessary to remove the pump from the piping. Keep hands, work area, tools, and parts clean. This video features the Z3500 pump. However, the procedure is the same for all of Corkin's Z-Series sliding vane pumps. When using the seal installation kit, there are eight steps to replacing the mechanical seal assembly. Please note, if Corkin's seal installation kit is not being used, removal of the bearing cap is not necessary, so begin with step two. Using the wrench, remove the bolts securing the bearing cap to the pump head. The clearance shims under the bearing cap include red shims, which are two thousandths, a ten thousandths brown shim, and a twenty thousandths yellow shim. Please note, shim quantity will vary from pump to pump. These will be reused upon assembly. Also on the bearing cap is a grease seal which can be replaced if necessary. On the top of the bearing cap is the grease zerk. At the bottom is the spring-loaded grease relief valve. Make sure it is operational by pulling out as shown. Next, remove the needle bearing assembly which includes a washer, needle bearing, another washer, 
and the thrust bearing mounting ring. Use the wrench to remove the bolts securing the head to the pump. If the pump head is difficult to remove by hand, insert two of the bolts from the pump head into the threaded jacking holes and turn clockwise until the head pulls away from the casing. Do not nick or ding the pump shaft while removing the pump head. Remove the rotating half of the seal assembly from the pump shaft. Place the pump head face down on a stable surface as shown. Remove the grease seal and stationary seal seat by placing a screwdriver in the space between the grease seal and bearing as shown. Lightly tap the screwdriver with a hammer while moving around the circumference of the grease seal until it drops out. The grease seal and stationary seal seat will not be reused. Remove the O-ring from the head and discard. Clean the opening of the pump head with a light spray lubricant before installing the new grease seal and stationary seal seat. To install the new grease seal, begin with the pump head face up on a stable surface. Install the grease seal using the steel installation tool. Since this is a Z3500, the small side will be used. With the flat side of the grease seal facing down, Slide it over the shoulder of the steel installation tool until it clicks into place. When seated properly, the grease seal will remain attached to the installation tool. Insert the steel installation tool inside the opening of the head as shown and lightly tap with a hammer until the grease seal is seated. Remove the installation tool. On older models, it might be necessary to lightly sand the opening of the stationary seal seat inside the pump head with emery cloth as shown. This will enable the seal seat to easily slide into place. Newer models have a chamfered edge and do not require any sanding. Install the new stationary seal seat with the plastic installation tool. Caution! Be careful when handling the seal seat and avoid touching the smooth, shiny surfaces. These surfaces must stay clean at all times. Any foreign material on these surfaces can cause seal failure. Apply a generous amount of spray lubricant to the new seal seat and O-ring on the outside. This enables them to easily slide into place during the installation process. With the smooth side of the stationary seal up, insert two fingers inside and place it at the top of the opening inside the pump head as shown. For this pump, use the small side of the plastic installation tool. Please note, if cork and seal installation kit is not being used, be sure to use the cardboard disc supplied in the box seal assembly to install the stationary seal seat. Make sure the installation O-ring is placed on the tool before inserting the stationary seal seat. The O-ring prevents damage to the sealing surface during installation. Gently insert the installation tool through the opening in the pump head and into the stationary seal seat. With hands only, apply even pressure on the installation tool and gently press down until the stationary seal seat snaps into place. Look into the opening of the pump head and confirm that the seal seat is properly seated. Clean the flange surface of the pump head, then lubricate and install the new O-ring as shown. Before installation, clean the pump shaft and apply a generous amount of spray lubricant to the shaft and rotating seal. Make sure the drive pin and keyway on the pump shaft are in the 12 o'clock position. Locate the notch on the seal retainer. The notch must align with the drive pin on the shaft. Slide the new seal retainer onto the shaft and ensure the notch locates with the drive pin on the shaft. Next, make sure the O-ring is properly installed on the back of the rotating seal. Note the notches located on the rotating seal. They must align with the raised guides on the inside of the seal retainer. Place the rotating seal on the plastic installation tool with O-ring side up as shown. Slide the tool and rotating seal over the shaft. 
Rotate the tool if necessary to ensure the notches on the rotating seal align with the raised guides in the retainer and gently press into place. Before installing the pump head, slide the shaft guard over the shaft. Insert the guide rods into the pump casing as shown. This protects the face of the seal seat as the head slides over the pump shaft. Before installing the pump head, make sure the weep hole is in the 6 o'clock position on foot-mounted stationary pumps and is opposite the suction flange on belly-mounted mobile pumps. Remove the jacking bolts from the head and gently slide it over the guide rods. Secure the head to the pump casing using the head bolts. Once all the bolts are in place, remove the guide rods and install the final two head bolts. Use wrench to snug all of the bolts. On the final pass, tighten the bolts in a star pattern and torque to the value listed in the installation, operation, and maintenance manual. Remove the shaft guard. Install the thrust bearing mounting ring followed by the thrust bearing assembly. Using the same shims removed earlier, align the shims with the holes in the bearing cap. Insert a couple of the bolts with the lock washers to help align the shims and hold them in place. Make sure the grease zerk is in the 12 o'clock position for foot mounted pumps. For belly mounted mobile pumps, make sure it is in the 6 o'clock position opposite the suction flange. Attach bearing cap to the pump head using the remaining bolts and lock washers. Use wrench to snug all of the bolts. On the final pass, tighten the bolts in a crisscross pattern and torque to the value listed in the installation, operation, and maintenance manual. Please note, both sides of the pump are identical, so duplicate each step when replacing the mechanical seal assembly on the opposite side. This completes the procedure for replacing a mechanical seal in all of Corkin's Z-Series sliding vane pumps. If the pump is going back into service, slowly pressurize with vapor. This can be accomplished by slowly opening the bypass return line on most systems. If the pump is placed into short or long-term storage, close all openings and partially fill the pump with some light oil to protect against rust and corrosion. A grease zerk is located on each bearing cap. To prevent over-greasing the bearings, a grease relief fitting is located on the opposite side of each bearing cap. Always clean each grease zerk and grease relief fitting before lubricating the bearings. If the grease relief fitting is clogged, the excessive grease cannot be relieved and may cause premature seal failure. Insert the grease slowly and stop as soon as the relief fitting opens. Corkin recommends using MILG 10924C ball bearing grease only with a temperature rating of minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Please refer to the troubleshooting section of the Z-Series Installation Operation and Maintenance Manual, item number ID 105, for detailed information. This manual may be downloaded from the literature section at corkin.com. Visit the website often for the latest technical updates and news on all of Corkin's products.